Hi, Ben and Aisha. We are turning a new leaf for tomorrow. We have the heat and the humidity that's going to build in, which could bring us, yes, a chance for some showers, but it would not be as widespread and as numerous as we saw the last couple of days. Wanted to show you this photo sent in from Joe Pangea, lightning in Middletown. It's beautiful, but nevertheless, very dangerous. So only send these photos in if you can do it at a safe distance. Now, we always end the day with a beautiful sunset or a beautiful rainbow. This shared on Twitter by Dan Butler. It's always nice to see things end um, in a beautiful way. All right, here's your weather headlines and what you need to know for the next couple of days. More sun on Thursday. The summertime humidity returns. We've had it for the last couple of days, but you're really going to notice it tomorrow because of just how high those temperatures are going to get tomorrow afternoon. The holiday weekend looks mainly dry, and that's the good news. I think 90 to 95 percent of us will be mainly dry throughout the entire weekend. There is a chance, though, that one or two towns does see a pop-up shower. Doppler radar right now showing that most of the moisture is moving out. Some lingering showers in the New London County area near Stonington, down into Groton, and right along Old Saybrook. But that should be gone within the next 10 to 15 minutes. And there could be a chance for maybe an isolated shower overnight tonight, but mostly uh, dry conditions tonight. You can see here that this is a much different scene than just about 12 hours ago where there were plenty of uh, thunderstorms popping up across the region. That area of low pressure that has been very persistent over the last couple of days will begin to move offshore overnight tonight and with that will bring us a change in the weather pattern. So overnight tonight will be under mostly to partly cloudy skies and there could be some areas of fog that will develop by tomorrow morning. We're talking about mostly sunny skies and those temperatures are rising. Wait till you see that high temperature of the day. Temperatures now are in the upper 60s and lower 60s. We're at 62 degrees in Torrington, 68 in New Haven and 65 in Groton. Mostly to partly cloudy skies tonight. It will be a tad humid on 64 degrees in Hartford, 62 tonight in Torrington and 65 in New Haven. Here's a look at the high temperatures for tomorrow. We're talking about 86 to near 90 degrees across the state, 85 in Putnam, along the shoreline in Groton, 82 degrees. It'll be a nice beach day. Beach day. It'll be hot and humid though with humidity levels in the upper 60s. So the hour by hour forecast will start here at 7 a.m. for tomorrow. We're starting off in the 60s under partly sunny skies. Going on through the afternoon, noticing here we're breaking for a lot of sunshine, but we could see a pop-up shower just due to the fact that we're so humid and we are so hot. Think of it as like almost Florida weather. Going on through time though, we do start to clear things out overnight Friday. Those lows though will be in the 70s for uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. So very humid that night. And then going on through time on Friday, we bring back that chance for more widespread showers. And I think many towns on Friday afternoon and evening, we'll get in on some of that rain. So here's a look at that seven day forecast. We're talking about sunny skies on Saturday, a small chance for a passing shower Saturday or Sunday. But again, I would not move any barbecues out uh, indoors. I'd leave them outside and you just might have to be inconvenienced for a little bit. 87 degrees on Sunday by Monday and Tuesday, we increase that chance back for a scattered shower or storm and we dry things out back on Wednesday. But noticing those temperatures are near 90 degrees heading into the next week. Guys.